Fox 61 is day tripping around Connecticut this week and today we're heading to Glastonbury. And there is a lot to do there to check out with your family and friends like going rock climbing at the Central mm. Rock Gym, visiting the Cotton Hollow Preserve or the Hops on the Hill Brewery. It all sounds good to me. Yeah, if you like visiting restaurants, check out Brico Tutoria or Plan B Burger Bar. Good stuff there. And it doesn't end there. This morning, Margo is headed to Oakwood Virtual Golf in Glastonbury. Margo, you look the part. I have to say that. Yes, Erica, Keith, good morning. I can thank my grandmother for that. I know that you have to wear a collared shirt, so I'm rocking that but not rocking much else, which is why I'm going to bring in George, who is the top golf coach in the, in the state, right? Uh, I've been more to that a couple times. Yeah, so, and he's also the coach for the University of Hartford women, so I think I'm well suited here. Before we begin, we're talking virtual golf, so obviously we need to know the basics about golf. George, thanks for joining us. How do I start? <laughs> Okay, well, the virtual golf place here, I, I think, is a, is a great place, lots of fun. But as far as instruction and how you're going to go ahead, go ahead and get started here is we talked earlier about holding the club more in the fingers with the left hand. Mm -hmm. That's it. Go ahead and hold it out to the end. Okay. Okay. Right hand's going to cover the left thumb. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the first part of the swing, I want to think your upper body's going to move the club back. Now, if your okay. legs move a little bit with it, that's fine. Uh -huh. In the forward swing, I know you're a softball player, so in a forward well, swing, <laughs> if you're going to throw a softball, your legs would turn and you would finish over there. Ideally. So if you want to make a, a practice swing or two and just let that club brush the ground as your, as your legs are going forward, and then we'll go ahead and hit one. But just let it brush. Don't force the club down there. Keith, you know, I'm really That's upset with it. you that you left me today because if there's one thing Keith is really good at, it's drives, and I'm not. So, All right. let's see. Nice and relaxed. Do I have a little Tiger Woods in me or no? Oh! Look at that, would you? You missed the 12 that I couldn't hit before. What do you love about golf so much? I mean, this is a sport that gets you out or gets you in. The great thing about golf, I think, is that there's a million reasons to play. You can play to be competitive. You can play to spend time with family, to get you know, just some exercise and, you know, you come here and just socialize with your friends. You can play golf very seriously. You can play golf very socially and anything in between. So it really appeals to a lot of different people. What do you think is the number one thing folks should know when it comes to golfing? As far as the As far skill? as the experience, what you need to know. I mean, I was a little overwhelmed coming in here with sure. just my polo. <laughs> it's a nice collar, though. You know, I have to Thank say. you, Grandma. <laughs> um, I, I think the biggest thing is, is don't have a whole lot of expectations. Treat it for what it is. It's not an easy game to learn. It is not. <laughs> but even at, at the very early stages, you can hit some great shots early, and it's just a blast when that happens. Just know there's going to be a lot of good shots. There's going to be a lot of bad shots. And as you get better, it just becomes more and more fun. Well, we hope so, certainly. <laughs> George, thank you so much. As we're getting ready to go to break, I'm going to see if I can do it again. Grandma and Grandpa Casey, the golf pros. Oh. Sorry, come on, Grandpa Casey, that one's not great. <laughs> George, I appreciate you doing what you could to try and help me. He is available during the winter. You teach classes as well and give guidance. Yeah, I teach uh, here at Oakwood all winter long in Farmington Woods and Avon in the summer. All right, so check that out. We're going to be meeting with the owner of Oakwood Virtual Golf in our next hour. Uh, hopefully he doesn't kick me out after seeing that performance. But fingers crossed for now. That's the latest here in Glastonbury. I'm Margot Farrell, Fox 61 News.